Hello, welcome back to The Cursing Seamstress. Um, I have, have just a few things to show you. You may notice the dog that I am fostering walking around in the background. He is, I don't know, I, I don't know what he is. And that was Georgia. She's not real happy about him being here. Um, he looks Chihuahua-like and Rat Terrier-like. I don't know what he is. The shelter didn't know what he was either. And they had very little information on him. When I picked him up, um, I was told that he was probably a stray that got picked up. He is estimated to be eight years old. He has potential. Um, he is not housebroken, which is very frustrating. So I normally get up very early in the morning. Usually 4.30, I have my coffee pot set to start going at 4.30. <clears throat> but I'm usually up before that and the first thing I do is to take him out and let Georgia out. I have an invisible fence and um, of course he doesn't have a shock collar on. Georgia doesn't either because I had to take the shock collar from her and put it on my outside dog. He lives in the garage and outside. Um, because he is not house trained. I've never been able to house break him. Um, so um, I had to put that on him because the other two shock devices I had had holes in them. I've recently sent them back to the company because I was told they might be under warranty. Um, so we'll see. But I am going to train him to the invisible fence and see how that works. I think that will be the key to whether or not I keep him or I don't um, because it's very, very cold here. Um, I'll be right back. My oven is going off. I'm back. Um, so that is uh, pretty critical. Um, I um, He's real quick. He's a boy, and so he's really quick to hike his leg up the last thing he did was he peed on the back of my couch. My couch is not a new couch. It has slip covers on it. I had a, a, a local lady who was just a great seamstress and she made slip covers. And so um, after he peed on it and I saw it, I don't, I didn't see him do it, but he's, like I said, he's very fast. Um, and I had to unzip it and wash the slip covers and they're, probably 15 years old and the slip covers are I don't think the lady pre-washed the fabric so they're kind of separating she didn't serge the edges um, so I can see some places where the fabric is starting to separate from the seam but I did wash the slip covers and um, put it back on and I wasn't able to get it fully zipped up because it's kind of tight I will be able to, but um, anyway, so it's kind of a pain in the neck and I take him out every two to three hours. He's very good at night. He sleeps in a crate in my bedroom. He sleeps through the night. He sleeps really well. So he is able to hold his bladder for eight or nine hours. I'm careful about when I feed him. I feed him in the morning and a little bit in the afternoon. And immediately after I feed him, I take him out uh, and he will go number two. Um, I didn't mean for this to be a monologue about a dog, but anyway, it's very frustrating. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen with him. He definitely has potential. He's smart, um, he's loving, he has not snipped at me. He and Georgia have gotten into it a couple of times, but not horribly. Um, he's a little possessive over food and when he eats, he likes to go over to Georgia's dish because she is a slow eater. She's used to never having to fight for her food. I've been able to leave her dish down with food in it and she would nibble whenever she got hungry. So that can't happen anymore. All right, back to sewing. I wanted to show you a few things. I bought some patterns that were on sale. This was a Simplicity sale at the Simplicity website. 
I usually don't like simplicity. I've always been a McCall's and Butterick person. I found their directions to be easier um, going back, you know, 30, over 30 years. Uh, but I, I went ahead and jumped on this. Actually, these are, actually, these are new look. These are all new look except for one. And I'll start with the exception. This exception was one that I bought. I don't think I've shown you, but it's a McCall's pattern. So I guess I got it at the last McCall's sale. Um, I really like this one and I don't think I've seen, I don't think I've seen this before on the YouTube channel or anything. This is um, McCall's 7803. This is a top with a um, waistband that comes around from the side seams and ties in the middle. You have sleeve variations. You also have a dress. You can leave the, oh no, I guess you can't leave the ties off. Um, so I'll show you the line art on here too. It looks like this has a flutter like a peplum thing i'm not sure what that is what i liked was um i guess what i liked was that one i'm not a big fan of flutter sleeves and that looks like a flutter sleeve this is the one that i thought was um kind of cute and i i like the top too Anyway, um, so, and this is for woven fabrics, and there is a zipper in the back, cotton blends, shally crepe, and stable knits. Anyway, so that's a McCall's pattern. This is a new look, 6446. I have seen this on uh, different videos. I'm not a fan of culotte type garments, um, but I do like the dress version. Let's see, the line art is there. Looks like the, um, the straps are wide enough to be covered by, um, to cover bra straps. So um, yeah, I thought that would be a nice outfit for summer. Probably not the maxi version, but this is um, Wovens again, gingham, lightweight, denim, linen types, calico, chambray, chino, so like that. I don't normally buy top patterns, but I did buy this one. It's a new look 6543. It's a very simple pattern it has darts in it sleeve variations no sleeve v-neck or round neck and it looks like just um, keyhole opening in the back but i like to put a zipper i don't like that little hook and eye thing um, hopefully the darts will give a little bit of um of definition you can see that there are darts on there we shall see and this is um also for woven fabrics. Um, if you've been watching, you will have seen that I made um, a shirt for my grand boy, a traditional button-up collar, collar stand shirt. I actually, I'll put in a picture today from, you wanna come up here, Georgia? No. Um, I made him another one. He wanted a camo shirt, so I made him one from fabric from Walmart. It was uh, four something a yard, uh, all cotton, and it came out very well. I don't have it here. I took it to him yesterday and I took a few photos, so I'll show you the, the photos. He was pleased with it. I did, well, I'll tell you later. Um, this is a new look, 6197. It's um, another shirt pattern. This is, I guess it's unisex. Um, that's it. So they have a woman in a guy on there, um, different variations of the sleeve. Uh, so the line art looks like that. It's got that um, pleat in the back. And um, 
I think Griffin was really on the cusp of needing a men's size. I did make another 14 for him. I increased the length of the, this is the Patterns for Pirates uh, pattern. So I increased the length by an inch, shortened that cuff by about three quarters of an inch. And um, so he really, I think can go up to um, an extra small on this and that's a chest of 30 to 32 i don't know i'm gonna have to look at that and see but he's if not now he certainly will be going up to that size really soon all right the next one is a new look 6322 it's a dress with sort of an empire kind of waist on it um, different sleeve variations you've got a um, fuller skirt and then a straight skirt line art looks like that and this is also for wovens uh, brocade chalet crepe damask linen types pick poplin sateen satin seersucker taffeta double knit jersey you can so you can use knits on it spandex etc okay next another blouse pattern new look 6808 and I really like this one. This is just so cute. I really like the neckline of that. All of them are really nice. Um, I think that looks like a boat neck. Um, and it has flutter sleeves, nose sleeves, cap sleeves, and then it looks like either long sleeves or three quarter sleeves. That's the line art there. And this is also for wovens. Um, and let's see, it looks like it's a slip over. So, oh no, well, no, there is a zipper. And the zipper must go in the side. I don't know, I'll have to look at that a little bit more. Next is new look 6410. It's a dress pattern, again, with the option of a full skirt or a slimmer straight skirt. And that to me is just really cute. It is an empire style waist. The line art looks like that. And there is um, a zipper in the back. 22 inch zipper in the back. Cotton types crepe, crepe back satin, crepe de chin, crepe de chine, um, Georgette, Shantung, Jacquard's lightweight linen types, silky types, taffeta, also Ponte for A, B, and D. Um, I don't know why C wouldn't be included. Anyway, <clears throat> I thought that looked cute. The final one is uh, New Look 6176. This is an easy pattern. Um, looks like a nice um, summer pattern. It looks like this. The line art looks like that. So the variations are pockets, no pockets, um, contrasting fabric for the neckline and the sleeves, three quarter sleeves, short sleeves, no sleeves. They're all a boat neck and um, woven fabrics, cotton and cotton blends, laundered cottons, pick silks and silk types, crepe de chine, laundered silks, rayon silk, Linen, lightweight, double knit, soft, lightweight linen, and linen blends. So this looked um, really cute, and um, it says it's easy, so that's great. Um, a couple of fabrics that I wanted to show you. This fabric, amazingly, was at Walmart. Not my local Walmart, but a Walmart that's about 40 minutes away in a different town. They have a wonderful fabric department. <clears throat> they have fabrics that are not your typical quilting cotton or fleece or the things that um, a lot of Wal Walmart uh, Walmart sell. This is actually a rayon 
and it's got little dots on it. It's, I guess it's white, and I, I have not figured out if that is blue or, or black. I think when I bought it, I thought it was navy blue, but I'm not, I'm really not sure. Actually, yeah, I think it is navy blue. I'm looking at the little fibers or the little threads at the end. I did wash this. I washed it and dried it. It washed and dried beautifully, and it is very drapey. It's, um, it's not tightly woven. It's a fairly loose weave, but not hardly loose. I think that if the edges are surged, I don't think that fraying or pulling apart at the seam would be an issue. This is, um, it's, it's not a heavyweight fabric, maybe medium weight, but it, it has weight to it. So it, it's going to drape really well. And um, I think it's going to be a wonderful fabric choice for those patterns that require a drapey fabric. So, um, so I'm looking forward to that. I don't know what I'm going to make with that. Um, but um, I've actually been going through the patterns trying to think what would be the best one to make. That, by the way, was only about $4 a yard at Walmart. This fabric I've had for quite a while, um, probably four or five years. I, I have not shown it to you. I think I bought this at Hobby Lobby. This is... Um, I don't know, there might be some polyester in this because it's not very wrinkly, but I know I bought this with my daughter in mind because she and her husband are, they love the water and they love boating and fishing. So this is an anchor fabric. The background is like a washed out denim look. This is not denim, but it's that, you know, that kind of, um, the kind of blue that has like white um, uh, etching marks through it. And then the anchors are an off-white. And I probably have four yards of this or so. And it's, um, it's a medium weight, I guess I would say. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I think a, a summer dress, some of these that I just showed you, actually, I think this would be a good choice for, for this fabric. Um, but I really like it and I got it out to do something with it the other day and I still don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, that's it. The only other, oh, let me show you these. Um, I hope I'm not repeating here. I know I'm not with this one. I am trying to use up my scraps. So I made some more dog scarves. This one says, what does it say? God knew my heart needed you. And this is a fabric that I made a dress out of that did not suit me. It was not the pattern. It was me. Um, but anyway, the back is um, a flannel with little dots on it. The next one I might have shown you. I can't. No, I don't think I did. This doesn't have anything on it. This is just leftover fabric. Really pretty sort of a, an olive um green, gray, and a deep pink. Um, same thing on both sides. I ordered these iron-on labels from a company that I don't remember the name of. And so I like them so far. I don't know how well they will hold up with repeated washing, but it, you know, it did iron on fine. They sent me an email and wanted me to evaluate the product and I I'm not going to do that until I can truly give a good evaluation um, this one I don't think I showed you this says dogs are possum this is a green flannel that um, I've had for quite a while and again these the closure on these are just a simple um, buttonhole and you just pull pull the other end through the, the buttonhole to, um, to close it up. So that's it. So stay tuned. I'm going to insert some pictures of my grand boy wearing the, um, the camouflage shirt that I made him. So um, other than that, that's it. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.